Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am James Ramsey, the CEO and founder of Superior Float Tanks. Uh, this year, you know, our company, we're going to invest over a million dollars um, into our people, our products, uh, and our facility. Uh, currently, we are un underway through an amazing renovation. We're about halfway through right now and um, about to get uh, the final funding. This is just some rough representation of what's going to be going on. Later this year, we're going to be unveiling our new grand showroom, which is going to feature all of our tanks. Um, and basically, you know, we own the building so we can spare no expense. Uh, in addition to that, we will, uh, on our facility, uh, have one of the new modular float systems uh, in a 20-foot shipping container outside uh, to basically prove the modularity of uh, float systems. Because um, that's one of the biggest problems that we've run into is, is the, the deployment of float tanks uh, in, in the, uh, around the world. Uh, and doing something like this makes it a lot easier and faster for everybody. Additionally, you know, we're, um, we have just finished up our new production space uh, where, we, where we do our assembly. And this space is going to double as our sh uh, studio where we will basically videotape a lot of the tutorials and the training and the teaching um, uh, of taking care of your tanks. Uh, since we do uh, that basically on a daily basis. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm big into research and development. So, you know, one, one of the things we're going to be able, allowed to do there is to basically push the equipment to the extremes uh, until it basically breaks. This is a good example of what happens when you let your uh, tanks over salt um, and they get basically get blocked up and then we get a call where it's like, well, how do I take care of this? Additionally, we're going to have uh, uh, extra equipment and personnel. Um, this is going to include dedicated tech support, warranty support, along with a full staff for our float center. You know, one, uh, we've all experienced challenges in, during the COVID times. You know, one of the biggest obstacles that developed for us is that we were notified by our filter manufacturer that they were ending the production of the X100 filter housing uh, that we've been using for the last seven years since we started. Uh, this filter housing is very unique and um, is used by several other float manufacturers as well. Our rep tried to end up get us the molds, but they said they had to be destroyed, which meant we had to make a, a new set. Uh, so after months of engineering and design work, uh, we actually have a new set of uh, X100 filter molds that are complete and are being sent over here to the US right now. Uh, and our distribution and sales for these uh, will start uh, probably sometime in October. And we also look forward to getting these uh, to the NSF for the full certification. Uh, definitely uh, was, was, was challenging, not only in uh, doing something that we've never done before, but also having to rely on uh, work to be done in another country during COVID. So, you know, uh, Superior has been privileged to work on a lot of non-commercial retail float uh, tank projects that, you know, we're always excited to share with you guys. Uh, when we're allowed to, and you'll see a few more, a little more of that uh, later throughout the week. Uh, but in 2020, um, superiors continue to work with uh, the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Army, um, and all of the uh, sports teams um, uh, that we work with. I'm not really big into sports, but I'm sure if you, um, if you have a favorite team, uh, ideally we're they're already floating or going to be floating soon. Uh, we're also excited to be working with uh, Lydia Caldwell from the University of North Texas. Uh, she's going to be here uh, tomorrow to t talk about her float research uh, that she's setting up. Uh, additionally, this year we've set up a, a lot of lot more programs from like the Phoenix Suns, Rutgers University, San Diego Padres, um, Jaguars. Uh, in fact, this was an interesting one that we went to. This is in Boone, North Carolina. I wanted to, wanted to share. This was a uh, a facility. A, a, place on the top of a mountain that was a uh, home to a, a cult that, that, that would say that they could levitate and float. So we thought it was a, a fitting that they would be getting a float tank there. Um, and ending uh, this past July 5th uh, marked our 10-year anniversary in the float industry. You know, currently we have just under 1,000 tanks running uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week out in the, around the world. And uh, we're looking forward to, you know, the next 10 years of growing with the, the industry. And, you know, we're very appreciative to uh, everybody as well. Thank you. Thank you.